I said a bunch of times I was going to do an acoustic show tonight, but uh, I think uh, a couple nights ago, I think it was Wednesday. Was there a Wednesday last week? <laughs> Is there such a thing as that shit? Well, if, uh, there was a Wednesday last week. Uh, yeah, I've been house sitting up there on Leslie Street and fucking fine dining up there, taking care of a couple of dogs. Hank and Kip love the shit out of them. <laughs> Hank's been acting up, you know, though. <laughs> I have to yell at him. Kip comes <laughs> jumping up in my lap, think I'm, you know, pissed off of here and shit. If y'all could see Kip, y'all would go all right now. <laughs> it's fucking full house shit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> as I was getting off the topic a little fucking a little bit um, I've been staying at this fine dining house and <laughs> Patrick ever came over there with me to spend the night or some shit when I'm getting psychedelic up there hopefully one day he will get to and uh, maybe that little girl that's with him can uh, know some of the questions she's been fucking bugging me about asking me tonight is that real are you on the wick <laughs> fucking inside jokes and shit but uh if Patrick ever spent the night with me over there, uh, I'd invite him into the shower, clothed or naked, whatever, whatever he felt comfortable with. Well, this fucking shower is the most amazing shower I've ever fucking seen in my life, y'all. Andy's seen it. Uh, I think I took Mark over there, and he's seen it wherever the fuck he is, somewhere back here. Uh, taking a shit. Uh, but anyways, uh... It's fucking, uh, the, the reverb in that motherfucker is like better than the shit I have on this. So, uh, I took the LSD one night, and uh, fucking Wednesday night, that's the day I was telling y'all about, took some LSD and got real, uh, psychedelic, and, uh, I had two acoustic guitars set up in there just rocking out, fucking got real psychedelic, man. You should have been there, like, watching me and shit, like, <laughs> cause I was there watching me, and Jesus Christ, fuck. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix and Sh Kurt Cobain and shit. <laughs> I was shittier than they were, but hell. I broke, but the point being, I, I broke every fucking D string on that acoustic guitar in that fucking house. And, uh, there was only two, but uh, <laughs> then I, next day I psychedelically met, met up with Mark up here and uh, I was asking him about fucking breaking strings like, you know, real guitar players should know about, like, fucking how to not break strings, give me some tips and shit. And, uh, he was like, well, you know, get used to playing the electric. And I was like, I was like, electric? Uh, you know, my, my, my head went bonkers. I was like, you know, I'll just do this, you know. So, uh, I brought this electric guitar out. It's a Sun Amp, 1971. Uh, the fellas, uh, fellas from the Kingsman, Louie Louie, y'all motherfuckers know that, if you don't, shit. Louie Louie, those motherfuckers, let me give you a history of the Sun Amps, like, uh, I don't, I ain't really a guitar player, but, uh, the Sun Amp here was made by the two fellas of the Kingsman. Charlie and Norm were their names. And that song, Louie Louie, became a fucking hit in 19, 19, you know, 60, whatever the fuck. And, and they started playing bigger, bigger venues, much bigger than this. And their fucking shitty Fender made guitars couldn't take that shit. So uh, Norm said to Charlie, Charlie, make us some amps. And he fucking started this company and shit. <laughs> this is, uh, thanks, Patrick. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, it's Patrick Clapham live recording. He's right down here. He's in that band Futo. They're just fucking so fucking cute. Fucking love him. He's got a he's got a dark sense of humor, and I, I like that a lot. I like that in boys. I like his haircut too. But anyways, uh, this is a new one. Um, after I got off that door bum tour last year, I got a poster up there. It's real psychedelic. You can look at it. Um, it was last uh, July I got off that tour and fucking had a little mental breakdown. Found out I had HPV and like gave it to a couple people, you know, HPV, genital yeah. warts. <laughs> my, my dick has since gotten all warty in the year that, you know, <laughs> I first contracted it and everything. But, uh, Boy, howdy. yeah, so uh, 
I figured, you know, an, an attachment to another human being, that really bothers me, like, when another human being is, like, fucking completely attached to me, and, you know, ownership, I don't like that shit, I mean, if you fucking listen to my album and shit, you'll hear all about my damaged relationships and shit, yeah.